Hey guys, welcome back to the channel again. Uh, so today I came up with a, another interesting and uh, this will be currently in trend. Uh, how you can use your Power BI dataset or Power BI whatever you created in the dataset and published to the Power BI service. And client come up with a requirement saying that the same dataset whatever the data I have in the Power BI I want to use a pixel perfect report using a page generated report okay so the thing is we have already a data set in power bi and from that we want to create a page generated report rather than creating a separate model for the page generated report or the report name okay let's see so what are the requirement for that so first of all requirement is you should have a workspace it could be any workspace okay and uh, under that there should be a report and there will be data set so you know that all that how you can publish it Second thing is on the data set, whichever you published it, if you click on that, and you go to the manage permission. And as for that, this one, this option needs to be activated. Like when whichever user you are granting the access, you should have a allow experience to build the content to the data set associated with it. This permission should be there uh, apart from uh, others, but this the third one should be activated. Okay, for that particular user too with the database using the page generated reports. So requirement first is publish, second one is the permission. Next, what do you need to do? We need to go to the Power BI report builder here. Okay. Then click on the data source and rather than creating the data source manually here, we need to click on the add Power BI dataset conditions. Okay. Now once you click on that, uh, it's for your sign in. It will take us time and it will select the workspace and you can select your the model or the data set which you are planning to create the model out of that. Once you selected it, under this data set, the source is created. Now the data set which you want to create it, that will be along with your DAX queries only. Okay. So I will teach you how to like a cheat way or rather a simpler way to get the DAX query and put it into the Power BI report builder and make it work way it works okay so what i did for that i have downloaded this basically this report where all the reports are available okay so this is my power bi desktop report which is looks like this what i will do now here is that i will go to my optimize option and click on the performance analyzer okay and i will start recording it okay and i will refresh the visuals once so that i will get all the queries of all the visuals whatever is I have used on this particular report. Okay. Now click on the replace visuals and all the replace visuals will be working and I will take one of the query. Let's take this employee service, this particular report. I will take it and it will generate a DAX query here completely. Okay. Simply copy it. Okay. Copy it. Now go to the report builder. Right click on this, add a data set give a meaningful name okay so let's take power bi something like that okay and instead of writing anything just click on the query designer this is the option for you to click on okay and here let it open and i will say first thing is this tax should be enabled if it is md it will not work you need to have a tax. That's the first thing you need to take care. Okay. Second uh, is like uh, you need to click on the designer mode rather than this mode. Enable. Click on the design mode like this. Okay. Then whatever you copied it, you just paste it here. Simple. Okay. Now you can execute this query so that. You are getting the data. You will make sure that your data is coming whatever you copied it. All right. Now, once that is executed, all the queries will come up here. Now, let's wait for a second. Now, we will validate the query. It is successful. Now, we have records. Okay. Now, Let's try to insert a chart. Okay, insert a chart here. 
and let's try to insert the chart here. Okay, let's see what we have here. And uh, try to create a bar only. Bar chart. now we have the option now to select it all these things so my groups will be based on my service length groups okay and my values would be based on the higher whatever i have here okay and if you customize you can do that and if you run this report color color all the stuff you can do that but exactly the what you are getting here right this particular report six two years all the stuff so you can get it in a power bi presented report as well so you can do customization but i showed you the way we can use the same data whatever is being used in the power bi to create a presented report why i showed you this requirement because uh, nowadays there are two uh, parallel things is going on one is the power bi report one is the presented report so the customer can come up saying that okay this is fine but i need a pixel perfect report because power bi report builder is the uh, pixel perfect report but the data needs to be remains on the power bi only so this is the way you can integrate both the reports and you can work on it okay hope this video is helpful and please do subscribe to this channel for more interesting content real life scenario like this and thanks for watching have a nice day